What should we say? Maybe catch her when she's leaving the gym. Okay. We'll could just ask but me and you just like scream it out. Car. <laughs> don't follow her to the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to say that. <laughs> okay. Wait for her to her car, under her car and cut <laughs> Just wait for her back her car. Come out of a bush. <laughs> it's so romantic. Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. I was gonna say it's been a while because it's always been a while, but you already know how it goes. Mariannis, what do we have for today? Um, so they said, so I see you girls have a how to get his attention at the gym, but some of us guys know the negative reputation that comes with attempting to approach a girl at the gym. So what would you girls think is the best course for a guy to approach a girl at the gym? Basically, what are some of the subtle things a guy can do to spark that interest in a girl at the gym? Honestly, I we hate, hate I hate getting yeah. hit on the gym. Like I'm just trying to put in some work and go home. Like <laughs> I don't want to stop and have a conversation. I feel for you, I feel like you definitely have to see if she, the person is even interested. Like, do you see her looking your way? Do you see her wanting to share a machine with you? Like, if you see her minding her own business and like never looking your way and do just doing her thing, like odds are she's not interested. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so true. I I'm, I'm like itching to go. <laughs> go. What, what do you think? think? Uh, like, there's nothing wrong with trying. Yeah, I know. I was about to say that. Like, if, said it. if anything, be like, listen. I don't mean to like. Uh, you guys can say like, listen. I don't mean to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you're working out and like putting in work, but I just want to tell you that you're. I just want to let you know that you're beautiful, and if I'm interested in getting to know you. Yeah, and if she says no, she says no. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, thank you. Are you going to put that in? But you guys can yeah, say, yeah, like, listen, it. honestly, like, the truth is that most, most of the time, like, people don't like yeah. getting hit on. Yeah. So, yeah, basically what she said, most of the time people don't like getting hit on. So, maybe if you see her looking back at you, then definitely that's a sign that she's interested. And I would say go for it. But if she hasn't looked your way since, maybe she just likes to be left alone at the gym. But not, it doesn't hurt to at least try, you know? Yeah, you could try. Uh, you, you don't have to a little be, too hard. Yeah. <laughs> try to mention, like, hey, I'm not trying to be creepy, you know, but I've spotted you from afar. And, like, I think it'd be nice to, like, get to know each other. I think you're beautiful, whatever. And if she responds nicely, you would want, like, to keep on, whatever, I guess, getting to know her. But if she's, a like, a... The beat. <laughs> I don't think you would wanna. I'll just most probably hit you with thank you and just keep on doing my thing. <laughs> it's just annoying. You could meet you could meet someone at the gym. Like it's you know, I know people say you can't meet the love of your life at the gym, but you can. You can meet the love of your life at the bar. At, at the yeah. bar. <laughs> you find love in a at hopeless the club. place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you find love at the hopeless place. <laughs> hopeless place. But I would say to just go for it. And if she denies you then other fish is in the sea. Okay. Yeah, you don't have nothing to lose. At the end of the day, there's nothing to lose. Yeah, and just feel good that at least you got the courage to go up to her after. You know, think about it that way yeah. if she rejects you. Yeah, because now you'll stay with that thought like, what if, what yeah. if I went up to her? It's not a good feeling. Yeah. So go up to her, no matter what, even if she's not looking your way. <laughs> just don't like follow her everywhere. Don't be creepy. Or you know what's like a good thing that I know every guy does, but you know, it works sometimes because you get conversation out of it. And that's how you kind of know where she's feeling, you know? Just ask her, like, oh, are you using that machine? But don't do it in every single exercise or every single machine she goes to. Just once, yeah. Like, don't do it too much. And then maybe, like, you can spark a conversation or, like, she'll talk back. I hate when they ask you, oh, what is it you're doing there? Can you show me how to do that move? I hate that. Oh, my God, that is so, that is so creepy. Annoying. Because so you know annoying. they're only doing that for you to Especially do if it's squats. I'm like, dude, you could just get on this machine and just squat. Like, <laughs> so there's no special. Yeah. I've never gotten that. No, and the the worst one. Can you help? Can you spot me? Oh, do you but. see how small I am? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, me and you will eat the machine. Like, we're going to fall. Like, but I can't also, spot you. Also, where do you go to the gym? I go. <laughs> I'm Ellie Fitness and 49th Street. Where do I go? <laughs> Shoot us. And, and no uh, one is, is completely <laughs> different crowd. <laughs> I don't mean to oh. sound like bougie, but like I'm saying, like all you see at Shula yeah. is mostly like older people. It's definitely a different crowd, mm -hmm. but yeah. Just use your head sometimes, guys. 
<laughs> you had to go to work. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, leave it in the ask category, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.